if he does not repent until his old age, at the time when he's incapable of doing what, uh, what he did before, right? Even though uh, this is not high level of repentance, he's, uh, he's about to show up. Okay, so what is it, number nine? He lacks the physical desire or vigor to sin. I mean, of, he does not do it, but maybe he, he feels a little embarrassing, a little bad, plus he does not have a physical desire. So like after the fact, we can, we, uh, it's counted as a uh, tishua. Comment on the number 10. For he is not uh, turning to God with the same energy uh, with which he turned away from him, right? So when he turned away when he was 20 years old, it's one thing. Okay, now he's 87, he comes back. It's not exactly the same energy. But still, Rambam said he's about to show up, 11. For he has nevertheless turned to God out of his own volition and repented. Okay, he cannot do the sins, understandable, but he came to God. That's the bottom line. Uh, nobody can take it from him. Okay, so now let's finish up. That's a little more, maybe five more minutes. Even if he transgressed uh, throughout the, his entire life and repented on the day of his death and died in repentance, all his sins are forgiven. Number 12. So all he was sinner, he repented in the day of uh, his death, he's forgiven. Okay. The Yalkut Shmoni, Parashat Balak states, the totally wicked of, uh, of Israel, who filled with uh, remorse, and sorrow at the time of the passing made the portion in the world to come. Okay. So as uh, Kehelis uh, continues, before the sun, the light, the moon, and the stars are darkened. Commentary. Shabbos 151b explains how each of these metaphors refers to a different stage of physical ability. And what's sun, the light, and the moon? Okay, so <laughs> very interesting. So different stage of physical ability. Thus, we can infer that in, uh, if one remembers his creator and repents before he dies, he's forgiven. So let's uh, read the commentary and we're going to explain. Uh, though a person is granted atonement, uh, even though he does not repent until his final moment, it is far better to repent during uh, one's lifetime. Man was created to live a life of a connection to God. This, um, within the context of our material world. Though he absolved himself of punishment by repenting at this time, he has not fulfilled the purpose of his creation. That's a big one. So like he, he lived the whole life, complete life, and it was almost life of waste because our, our goal is to, to be close to Hashem. So I want to comment on this. So, so sometimes we, we might think that that's it. So he was Rasha of his life, and now he did uh, Teshuvah five minutes before he died, and that's it, everything is forgiven. He, he, everything was, was um, like uh, wiped away. So I wanna tell you, not sure, not sure. Why? Because uh, later on we're going to say, and Rambam is going to list many, many categories of people. So Hashem said, I'm not interested in you to show. Stay the way you are. And he would not assist them. And the, 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 the thought of the show not, is not going even to cross their mind. Forget about doing the show. It's not going to cross their mind. One thing. And second, uh, we have a uh, <clears throat> short class, a daily class of uh, um, medical laws, right? With, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the nurse and stuff like that, right? With uh, medical professionals. So, and that, that, that person, like well, one of the people, so he, he works in... Um, used to work until uh, the, this week. He, he, he changed his job, so he was in uh, his nursing home. And he gives insight what he sees. So nobody's doing chua before, before they die. They so confused, many people so confused, they do not know what, uh, what, what's going on with them. You understand? And they so upset and they so depressed, they, nobody thinks about chua. And he asked them, and he tried and he, he told us today how, how they refuse to take medicine and how he grinds the medicine, put in the yogurt and this and that, try to them so to prolong their life. They do not care that they want to live. They don't, they don't want to do anything. And he, he, and he told, of course, he's a religious person. He tells about the shula, the act, the shula. Unfortunately, this, uh, just so we know, this, uh, this, uh, what is it, um, this, 
nursing home in a border park. It's not like somewhere like uh, in a not religious neighborhood. So whoever is from, they've been from all their life, religious Jews, they continue to be from until the last breath. But others who like for 50-50, nobody's doing Tshuva. Hashem makes sure of it. That person is going to be, get punished all the way for all the sins. Thank you.